Well, hello, Roadster friends. We're back in Iowa. If you just caught up with us from a uh, last video that was on the road on the way back from Oklahoma City, we're back. Cindy has an auction ready for me to launch for you. We got all kinds of fun things coming up for this weekend. So stay tuned on that. I'll talk about it maybe at the end. And I want to go through the 30 items with you quickly. The auction is up. Somebody said they had a little bit of problem logging in this morning. My password actually went out of place. So you might have to uh, log back in and save your password again. I don't know if that was the glitch or not, or it was just my phone or a couple of us had an issue, but nonetheless, just log back in, just get your password um, and your username and uh, get yourself back in there once again. So um, there's 30 items. There's some great turquoise pieces. I'm not going to do these in any order, but I am going to go through it and give you just a good, nice preview of what is on the docket. So this is, um, it's a more of a smaller scale sized uh, squash blossom. It's native made. It's uh, sterling silver and there's some gorgeous turquoise on it. It has some nice matrix. It is a bit, like I said, a little bit smaller scale. Um, you'll have uh, dimensions on the photos on the um, website when you go to take a look at it. So it's a beautiful piece. This is a little bar necklace. This would be a sweet little um, stocking stuffer or Christmas gift. Has little turquoise chips off of a beautiful chain. That's a Stone Feather Road design. Uh, love the simplicity of that piece. Would be very nice. And it's kind of nice because it's got green and blue turquoise both. So really sweet. This is actually a new piece I just picked up that was shipped in, but I thought I'd put throw it in here because it uh, kind of played in with our collection today. But some beautiful he-she bead in black, brown, and white, and a gorgeous um, chunks of turquoise through the front, and we don't have length on it. Uh, I'm going to guess right now it's about 16 inches. So it's not a choker. It's going to be kind of in the lower part of your uh, neckline. And then one of our choker ones, which actually is 14 to 16 inches, and it's a Stone Feather Road design on this one, is the beautiful, um, gorgeous, really a beautiful green toned and brown turquoise, uh, really, really pretty. And then again with sterling silver Navajo pearls. And we, we have uh, a bunch of these that we have designed and made, some with spiny oyster. You've seen a couple of mine on past auctions, but these are really beautiful on, just great, great pieces. Um, to pop on and maybe I can uh, at the end maybe I'll come back and throw a couple of the pieces on this piece is awesome it's a gorgeous um, bezel set uh, sterling silver cuff it's native made it's got two different uh, it's got some beautiful colors in the turquoise browns and blacks and beautiful blue tone turquoise and then it has spiny oyster in orange red and in um, the purple. So really, really pretty. It's a nice, again, I'll put that on at the end. Here's a smaller scale. These are, think about Christmas gifts, some great Christmas gifts, a little smaller, fits right in that sweet spot of your wrist. Sterling and turquoise for somebody who's a little more minimalist or who wants a, a layerable piece, it would be nice. Here is a beautiful Navajo pearl. Uh, these are, again, our design. They're a loop earring. I wear these Navajo pearl styles like all the time. Silly me, my last two ones, my favorite ones, I hadn't put earring backs on. My earring backs, I had either, oh, I displaced them and I hadn't put them on. I lost one. This is the story I hear customers telling me all the time. Paula, can you by chance get me another one or make another one? So I have lost two. I'm really annoyed with myself. Here is a, a beautiful single strand uh, turquoise chunk necklace and it has a coral and onyx and lapis as well as he she beads really a pretty design very again simple clean very nice another great christmas idea this is a pearl and turquoise and navajo pearl drop earring that is it always pearls and pearls are great anywhere no matter what but that is really um, a beautiful simplistic piece that um, just opens you up to a lot of a great uh, things to wear it with. You can wear it with a great white shirt and denim, or you can wear it with a black, you know, dress. Uh, it'll take you uh, a.m. to p.m. dressing, which means dressing up or dressing down, either way. Here is a gorgeous um, set of jasper. Beautiful, beautiful jasper. Jasper is such a gorgeous stone, and it's got uh, gold tones, green tones, red tones, a little bit of white feathered in there as well, and another sweet turquoise bracelet that has been hand stamped and a lovely stone. It's more of an oval style. That's a really pretty piece on the wrist. I'll try and put that one on too. And then um, 
these beautifully shaped um, turquoise slabs in turquoise and brown matrix, very pretty. This is a sweater cuff, so it's got kind of that chevron kind of a feel. I'll put that one on too so you can see, very, very cool. This one is a heavier weight, beautiful, stunning uh, cuff. It's got that channel set around, it's almost like a framed effect around the stone, quite pretty. And yet another of these sweet bra uh, bracelets. So we got green, blue, and turquoise, like a kind of a true turquoise. So three kind of color uh, ways in that uh, particular design. Those are, and those would layer together actually beautifully too, but those will all stand on your, their own uh, on your wrist very nicely. This is turquoise and Navajo pearl. So real clean, just very easy statement, not overly done. Those of you that are more minimalist, minimalist would love that. That is white buffalo set in sterling, or uh, bezeled in sterling, so sterling set. It's a great um, neutral, versatile, very color pop of the years in white is awesome. Very nice piece. Uh, again, our design, which is the Navajo Pearl. We couldn't find anything like this in the market, so we just started making it and designing it. And it's been just really a home run, really, really gorgeous pieces that um, accent the ear and accent. If you pull a little bit of that um, orange and the spiny back down into a necklace or bracelet, that'll be really pretty. Or if you um, just want to pop some color, very nice piece. Here's a slab earring um, that's a compressed uh, turquoise. Great, simple, um, easy piece to wear, just an everyday kind of a piece. This is a really tiny, small post earring, and it's in spiny oyster. So those of you that like a post and you like a little smaller piece, that could be fun. There's a sweet, sweet uh, spiny oyster, more in the orange tones, lighter and then darker orange, and then purple in a ring. And you'll have to look at size uh, on the site. Right, I'm upside down here. Okay, this is a gorgeous um, compressed turquoise and spiny oyster. And it's a fairly large pendant. It's, it's got some heft to it and it's got some weight to it. So it's actually a really nice, nice piece. What's nice about this beautiful chain is you can shorten it and you can lengthen it. Um, it's just a really, you can hook, hook the uh, clasp. It goes up to 20.5 inches, but you can make it down to 14 to fit more of a choker uh, kind of a style. And that would work uh, actually really well. And then this one is a red uh, spiny oyster, kind of a little floret. It's a real sweet piece right at the throat. Again, a great holiday gift it could be. This is a vintage ring of inlay and then uh, coral and turquoise. It's got kind of a deeper channel set there. I love that channel set. And it's an older piece, very pretty on. Nice, nice design. Here is a uh, black onyx, or uh, well, it might not be, that might be an egg, a banded egg, I think is what that is, and um, crystal uh, in the jet color. And just a real simple little drop earring, very simple, very fun, easy to wear. Here are slab earrings, again. They're all just a bit different. Here you can see the two slabs together. One has a little bit more blue and brown tone, this one has a little more green, and this one is a little bit larger than this one. Very, very cool. This is one of our designs. We did a number of these, um, and I think this is the last, maybe the last pair of them, uh, unless I have some in a suitcase. But um, spiny oyster, excuse me, they're not spiny oyster. They're sterling silver Navajo pearls and turquoise. No spiny there. I was making that up. That's how my mind's been, though. In the story, they'll tell you, Michelle, have I been crazy the last day and a half? Absolutely. Yeah. Seriously. So I've been, yeah, and Cindy, yeah, we've all been a little bit off of our rockers, totally trying to get, uh, I have six days home. Then I hit the road and actually wasn't scheduled to come home. We were headed to South Texas, but our plans changed. And so we drove back north. Now Charlie and I are going to drive back south again uh, in a couple of days uh, and head to the National Finals Rodeo. But here's a, a really beautiful um, neck piece and this one is that's quite long. You'll be able to wrap two times for sure in a necklace, but look at the beautiful colors in it. All gorgeous stone. I can't remember the stone right now because, of course, I, my mind is not attached to my body at the moment. But beautiful colors. Very, very pretty. It'll go with turquoise. 
it'll go with all kinds of things. And then this is a really stunning uh, Jasper. It's a mirrored image uh, slab cut piece. Very, uh, very nice. I mean, this uh, simple, easy to wear. It could be a great neutral, but if you had browns or blacks or whites or any of that, it's going to pop off of it. Really just stunning. Very nice. And then this one is a cuff. So it's got uh, fossilized ammonite, semi-precious uh, stones, turquoise, uh, smoky quartz. There's turquoise and uh, be pyra, uh, druzy rather, um, opal. This is an opal here. It's got some opal um, shadings in it. And then just really some gorgeous, gorgeous stones. So let me just put that down. Let's see if I can do it one-handed. There we go. So you can see how collectively beautiful, beautiful rather that that is. That would be an awesome gift. So as always, there's some um, things that, you know, sell on the buy now. There's things that um, will go over what the original retails are and there's things that will sell at retail. So it's just kind of, you just have to keep at it and watching it set your alarm for Sunday night. We close the auctions every Sunday night at uh, 8 p.m. And so there's a lot of um, time between now and then to bid and to take a look at what we have. So for, I was gonna show you how pretty the bracelet, the bracelets are. Let's see if I can get, it's not fun. Just sits in that sweet spot. I'm a size six and a half. It's gonna fit up to a seven um, and probably even a seven and a half with no problem at all. You can adjust this one slightly. And what you do is you put your thumb on the inside here, protect the bezeled stone, and you can bend somewhat from here and here. It's gonna be hard on this one uh, because that, the sterling is thick. This one would be much easier. You can manipulate this one very easily. That's just a really pretty, comfortable too. And you can just pop that, boom, right in to fit your wrist so that it's spot on. Now in these cuffs, when you put them on, go from the inside out and go higher up on your arm. Don't try and put a cuff on. You get way thicker bones and muscle and tissue here than you do here. So you can always go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and, back and, forth and on. Same thing when you come off. Come from the outside, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, off. Okay? This is the uh, more green colored stone. Okay, very pretty. And this is the lovely turquoise with a little bit of edged matrix. So then the chevron one, which is a sweet little piece, I like this, because it kind of peeks out. Well, I'll show it to you without. So there, peeks out kind of down onto your wrist, and then you can always pop another bracelet up above and create kind of your own little sweet look there. So that is quite fun. And this big guy is awesome. That's a cuff. A lot of color, a lot of impact, a lot of beauty in that one. It's just really a very um, pretty, it's gonna be a wow kind of factor. Really very, very nice. You could pop that and do a sweet ring with it would be nice. Lots of different things um, it'll kind of play with and have to be able to have a lot of fun with it. This is that new piece that I had just picked up that we put on. So it's going to hit about right there. So it's a nice um, amount of real blue pop in terms of color. And then the black, and that is very nice. The black uh, Hishi beads, I like those. Black and white. Let's do... You see this choker. So I'm going to hook it on the longest one because I have a turtleneck on, but right here is where that would be. So just a nice, a nice length, really. And then if you did want to go longer, you always could do an extender. Uh, we sell extenders um, in sterling, and I might have a couple that are not sterling that are a fraction of the cost of the sterling, but you can just put an extender on, or you can go a little bit shorter and make it a true choker which is um, a really a good, a good look as well, depending on what you have on. 
Hello. Hey, how are you? Good. And then here is the squash. The baby squash. Not a big squash. She's a little. So there it is. It's just a sweet, it's an everyday squash blossom to wear. A lot of them that we have are huge. They're massive. Um, some of them, you know, hang clear down to here. They're just really, really large. This one is just that sweet one that you can toss on. You know, you can even do other pieces with it. You could do um, Navajo pearls with it, even like this, and layer some of your other pieces in with it. It'd be quite nice. Even with my feather one that I wear at the time. So see how that even, I would, I would wear it that way. And I'll wear a lot, so <laughs> just bust out. Have fun with it. Bust out, more is better, sometimes, most of the time. And if it doesn't uh, look right, the mirror will reflect what you need to do to adjust. Or call us on FaceTime and we'll adjust you, ma we'll adjust you manually. How's that? Or virtually, virtually. Okay, a um, couple of things. You're going to want to kind of stay tuned uh, with us through the weekend. We're going to be on Friday doing, if you remember back to when we did the trays of uh, jewelry, and we went through and just had them numbered. You can go on back, darling. Yep, all that's uh, all that's ready to go back there, too. Uh, we had the trays of jewelry uh, numbered, and then we plugged price points onto them, and then we shot pictures and then sent it back to you. We're going to be doing that um, and clearancing out. We have uh, five jewelry trays, I think it is, that Bella's been working on, and they'll be priced at $10, $20, and $30. I don't think any of them are going to be higher than that. Some of them will be at... I don't know, 70, 80, 90% off. So stuff that we're clearing out before you're in and um, I'm going to pass the values on to you for uh, Black Friday. And then also um, we'll be running 25% uh, off and we'll start it today. If you want to go to the website and start to shop now, we'll honor it. You're our online friends and give you this, the first swing at it, literally. 25% off our entire inventory online and in store. Now, it will be much more fun being in the store, but for those of you that are um, far away, um, that um, just know that um, you'll be able to see the majority of the store. There's very few things that we excluded. Um, one of them was our um, longer French cotton terry jackets. Uh, we did pull those um, off of uh, the in-store and the online promotion because we just got the shipment in, and I have many, many of those are already spoken for. Those are off. There's a few um, select jewelry pieces uh, that um, we just we don't own them at a, a, a great price. Let's put it that way, and that um, are not going to be available on the 25% off. But you're going to find most everything, even the stuff that was back row treasures um, that is still left um, it, at the 30. So it was already 30% off. You're going to get another 25% off of that 30%. Way worth it. Right? What do you think, Bella? Pretty good deals. Come say hi to the friends. Come here. Come on. So you're going to see this young lady. She got factored in. Imagine that. She was factored into our one a couple years ago. Michelle, uh, Bella, Shauna, uh, Mia, and Miss Lisa are going to hit the airways this weekend, and we will launch our whole new ad campaign. And they slayed it. Uh, we talked a little bit about it, about it online. Was it cold that day, Bella? Very. Did we freeze you? Mm -hmm. We had the generator going in the trailer, but it we were warming them up in between times. We fed you chili, all that, but it still was cold. Mm -hmm. Got to give you that. It was cold, and it got colder and colder as the day went on. But, uh, boy, we hit some awesome spots and some awesome um, on-location um, video. We had a drone following us, as you're going to see. Um, and we had um, a photographer. So it was a great day to shoot who are we? You know, who are we as a brand and what are we doing and uh, what do we reflect? And we're going to tell that story. And if you want to join in with us on, um, it'll be Sunday night. Cindy's going to launch and I'm going to be on the road, probably still traveling. Uh, but we're going to launch our video that we shot and that uh, a great company right here in Cedar Falls that we love. And we're going to we're going to give them all due 
um, uh, credits for it as well, as well as our great photographer will announce who they are. Because if you're local, you may want them. Come here, Gary, you can say hi too. Come on. Gary is part of the crew too. Gary's part of, Gary's part of every crew because he's, he's our sweat equity in a lot of ways. Oh, you're parked. You're illegally parked. All right. Um, but nonetheless, we're launching the video. It's a two minute, 2.5 minute uh, video, 2.05. Two minutes, five seconds. How would we say that? Five seconds. Well, I'm not going to get into the math on it. You'd be good on the math on it. This is what you've been working on. <laughs> yeah, she's saying no. Uh, that we hope that you'll enjoy. Let's put it that way. We also um, have our windows set for everyone in the downtown area, and we've added um, a whole new look to our front with big uh, posters from our photo shoot. Stop in if you're local and take a look. We have um, Holiday Hoopla down here. I don't even know what's going on, but I know we'll be open till 8 o'clock on uh, Friday night. So from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. with our 25% off everything. And we have um, two huge 50-inch uh, television screens going in our window that are going to be showing the whole rotation of shots from the uh, shoot that we did and the video and all kinds of stuff. So you can just pull up a chair and sit out front. We'll probably entertain you for, I don't know, half an hour, an hour with just our windows, right? And then we've got uh, the models in the window. Wait till you see. I'll take some pictures too, but we aren't going to do it yet. So stay tuned. All right, so Friday, if I go live, you're going to want to watch because the things that we do that we just price and they're <laughs> buy it now, they're going to be $10 to $30. Good stuff. Stuff that's... Um, up to 100 and even over 100 that's going to be at 10 20 and $30. So don't miss it. Set your alarm um, on your phone for, will we start right away at 8, Sin? How about by 9? By 9, we'll have the first group, and I'm going to go kind of throughout the day. Set your um, settings on notifications. So on our Facebook page, go to the top right corner where there's three little dots, and hit that. I know I've told this before, but for those of you that don't know, It'll give you a drop down and it'll down in one of the drop downs say notifications. And you're going to touch the notification box to say see all posts. And then what will happen is a little thing will flash up on your phone screen. I don't know if you can put a noise to it and you may not want to. Uh, but it'll flash you to let you know whenever we go live. And that may be a benefit in nabbing um, items. So on the website when we do that, it's going to be first come, first serve. Whoever hits sold and their name uh, will get that item in the terms of how it goes. So we're not going to do it on our software program. Uh, we're not going to do it through the auction. It's just, it'll be buy now, right on the spot. All right? And um, what else? Anything else, in? No, no, no. Okay, it's a wrap. Take a look at the uh, auction. Put your bids in now. Get some maximum bids. And these are really great items. I think that you'll have some fun bidding on them, some real special items and one of a kinds. And um, have an awesome Thanksgiving um, from our crew uh, to your family. And I know a lot of people are uh, toning it down. I think just our family, Charlie, Bella, and Gary and I are doing Thanksgiving. And we're going to sneak in Grandpa and Grandma later in the day, I think. But um, they're not sneaking in. They're going to come in. But... Um, Everybody's kind of parred down, so enjoy some good cookie baking or pie baking, a great movie, a bonfire. The, our fireplace will be going all day long. And you know who's the most happy? Where is she? Go grab her, Bells. So who's the most happy that I'm home, even for a short time? So is Stoney. Stoney went on a I'm not going to eat uh, binge for how many days, Bella? Several. Till she got Gary to cook for her. And so now she's on a new, I get human food cook because Gary, Gary, Gary gave way. So Stoney, tell the friends, did you miss mama? Oh, I know. It was terrible, wasn't it? Even though Belle and daddy were good to you. I know, I know. And honestly, she's still been, she's hiding upstairs. She's hiding down by her kennel down here and hiding. She's puppy hiding depression. puppy depression, we think. So if anybody knows how to get Stoney out of puppy depression, um, we're open for, you know, we're open for suggestions. She will sit on my lap part of the night at home, and then she goes and sits on her own. So she's going, yes, I love you. You left for three weeks. I am not happy, right? Yeah, she's a little crazy about it. So it anyway, Stoney's happy, and I'm so happy to be back with you too, Stoney. I am, sweet girl. You have no idea how much I missed you. And everywhere we were there, everybody had like three dogs each. So why we didn't take Stoney? 
next time, next time, next time, maybe. All right, friends, have a great day um, today and have an awesome Thanksgiving. And we'll talk to you Friday. Take care. Peace and light.